All right. Well, it's about five o'clock and uh, boys are all showing up at the house here. The solar guys, Zach and Owen and Dave are organizing tools. Uh, we got a shipment of panels here that we got to get loaded up for three more jobs we're doing. Got some replacement panels in the back of Zach's truck here. Got three more right here. Doing a lot of replacement work, but uh, we've also got a ton of new work. And uh, anybody locally or up and down the Sierra corridor that's looking for solar, um, you need to get a hold of Zach at Sierra Solar. He'll take care of you. Yeah, that's all we need to do right now. All right, guys. So that box over there is my all natural beef that you can find at the My Patriots store uh, that I always put the link in the description, but we're gonna get that opened up. We just got that today and I'm gonna show you what, uh, what we got. And right here, this is why I order this beef is because of those three things right there. And then not only that, it's American raised beef. Um, it's the fifth largest Angus herd in the United States. And um, all that beef is raised and processed right at the same facility. And um, like I said, none of the uh, hormones or antibiotics are added to the beef. And it's just great tasting beef. So we're gonna get that thing opened up and uh, see what we got. And we're definitely gonna make a meal out of it um, shortly. Well, here it is guys. We've got the hamburger meat, the sirloin steaks, filet mignon. And we've got some uh, diced steak and some steak strips. So I'm eager to give this stuff a try. Remember this is organically raised beef, basically no antibiotics, no hormones in this beef, okay? It's locally raised and processed they have their own processing facility at the ranch so the beef is not shipped anywhere everything's done in-house all american product and I, I just can't wait to try this stuff out i hope it tastes as good as it looks and um once we get something cooking i can't wait to share it with you guys we probably won't do anything with it tonight because we just got it it's frozen solid, it's already five o'clock. So it'll probably be on a later video, but I wanted to go ahead and show you what the package looked like once I got it out of the packaging. And uh, so, like I said, check that link in the description. Um, you can also get this beef. I ordered it and I, it was here in less than a week. And when I got it, solid as a rock, frozen, um, shipped in, uh, really good packaging so um i know it was you know frozen the whole time but yeah it uh it looks great we're gonna give it a try we got the walls down we got most of the logs down this one's giving us some problems but Getting it down now. It's almost a hook. Oh, there it is. Right on. Right on. Right. There you go. Oh, that was rough. That was nice. A little bit more back here. Okay. A little bit more off this corner. Run another. Dig out the back. Beam drop. And we're good. We're all cleaned up for the day. Yes, it is. We just got this little bit to go tomorrow. Take these two down. We'll take this side of the door down. Take a demo all this rock. Take that pole down. 
But as far as everything else, we're good. We got everything out. <clears throat> We'll dig out around this tomorrow. But yeah. Oh, the moon there. It's a nice, beautiful, calm morning out. So, uh, getting ready to start our day up here in Mammoth. Starting to warm up, finally. I can feel it. Today's going to be a lot warmer day. And uh, you can see the fence is finally starting to show itself. I think the uh, at one point the snow was probably every bit of 10 foot over the top of that fence. As you can see on the shady areas, it's still about 15 feet high in some spots. But just a beautiful, calm morning up here in Mammoth Lakes. Wednesday, uh, no, actually Thursday morning. Yeah. The, uh, the days all kind of run into each other up here. But uh, yeah, just going to get ready to start our day here and... Uh, see what's on the plate for today the little creek here is flowing under our drawbridge it's flowing pretty good and uh it flows out into this big meadow right here which you can't really see right now but uh as soon as the snow melts we have a big beautiful meadow out here probably uh every bit of almost two acres and uh, it's actually zoned for horses. It's This is one of the only properties that is zoned for horses in Mammoth. And, uh, you know, maybe uh got a lot of family and friends that have horses. We actually used to have them too, but just don't have time for them anymore. But maybe this year or next year, we might try to uh, fence this thing out to where we could actually keep a couple horses up here in the summertime. And uh, might be a fun little thing to have. But we'll see how that goes. It's got a lot of irons in the fire, so um, just got to deal with things as they come across our plate. But always got to make room for some fun hobbies. Okay, so if you can see that upper steep pitch that has the... Uh, the old school um, solar uh, water heater panels, that's all. All of that right there, he wants that to go away. And everything just continue with this pitch on the roof. So let's see if you wanna take a look at this. And uh, this is right on the corner of Forest Trail and Old Mammoth. Okay, so they've got the last little bit of demo pretty much done. All that's left is uh, those two poles and that post that Brian's working on. So we got the holes started for the uh, rebar. And right now, Alex and Ed are going to cut this grade around the side here because it's up above top of concrete right here. And literally, that's that was kind of what was causing all this water intrusion was the, the grade was up higher and it was up against the wood. And so everything, all this snow was literally just melting down into this uh, area and it was just completely rotting everything out. So you can see we started cutting this down right here and we're going to get all this dirt about three inches down around the perimeter. That's the goal. So when we set our concrete forms, we got plenty of room to... Uh, get into the meat of the existing concrete with the bottom form. And that's gonna give us uh, what we're looking for as far as uh, keeping the water out. So we are gonna end up with a cold joint right there. 
you know but we're gonna do um <clears throat> some waterproofing measures when we go to put the rock back on that's gonna hopefully solve that problem with the cold joint we might even look at uh talking to the owner about putting a uh a french drain that comes around the side here and allows the water to escape so we'll cross that bridge when we get to it well you can see the water's just uh running off and it's really running down the road here this runoff's really starting to take off and i finally got our sign back uh where you can see it but it it's definitely a mess here with the mud Things are moving. That roof is coming together pretty nicely. <clears throat> I think we'll have it sheeted. Uh, hopefully before Monday. But, you know, they got the last little stuff to put together here and then uh, start sheeting everything and hurry up and get uh, some paper on there so that it's... Uh, watertight on the top so this one here is a, a failure on the back part of the house you can see the weight of the snow just crushed the eaves and uh, basically broke a bunch of rafters so I think our best bet's gonna be to come in from the top we have to peel back this roof and uh, open up a pretty good sized section of it and pull off the sheeting and see how bad the rafters are actually damaged and then from there uh, we'll see about uh, gusseting or replacing some rafters and then uh, also replacing you know the fascia board and then go back with the new roofing back over the top So we're doing some spring cleaning. <clears throat> All of that ABS, you need to take that to the June Lake job. And uh, I'm gonna throw away a bunch of stuff in here and just kind of organize some stuff. But uh, yeah, way too much to fit in this little sea train. <clears throat> so. We can start by taking all that ABS to uh, June Lake because we got the sewer to do out there and a bunch of those fittings are gonna work for that. All right, so it's uh, Thursday. First day that uh, we got to sit out on the patio here at Warming Hut for lunch. It's just a really nice, pleasant day. Hardly a little breeze going. It's about, I think it's about what, 50, 55, 54 degrees. But I mean, these guys are like short sleeve pretty much. So uh, when it's like this, you don't really need much. Okay, this is all the stuff that I want to try to take back and return. That we need to take over to Starwood. This can go back to Bakersfield, to the yard. I don't know whose that is, but it needs to be all cleaned out and uh, figure out a place for all that. This plumbing stuff can go to June Lake, so maybe once you get everything picked up, just tuck it in the corner. And uh, that should be good for this. Uh, sea train's pretty much cleaned out. <clears throat> okay, so we're getting... Uh... A lot of this demo material cleaned up. Got to get all this concrete loaded up in the skid steer. Then we'll, uh, yeah, we got a lot to do. <laughs> got to take those two beams out, take this railing out, we'll get all this out today. Yeah. 
A lot of work. Alright, so we're over here at uh, 1501 Majestic. Getting these holes filled out. Eight inches. They got the under stack done, shear walls up, nailed off. It's all coming together nicely. Alex and Chewy are out back. Getting all, all of our piers undug. They're about eight feet deep. Let's go take a look. This is for the back deck. Good morning, guys. All right, so here's Starwood Drive, Thursday afternoon, about five o'clock. Got this whole rake wall in, all the lookouts in, four by six. Got that wall all the way across, closed off this living area. Got all the under stack in here. We're missing a couple two by tens, we gotta get those in. This is all sheared. Uh, Friday, what they're gonna concentrate on, we're gonna have a couple guys doing this uh, gable end over here, making sure that the holes are framed in uh, correctly for the windows that we have going there. Uh, the master bedroom is all completed now. The ceiling is all, all ready to go. The shear wall is all finished in here. This is the shear wall. That's the shear wall on the other side. Uh, we're putting up blocking and stuff. Uh, tomorrow, uh, another couple guys are going to be focusing on 
finishing the sear on the outside of the house. So we'll get it completely closed up. Um, and then uh, we're gonna have another couple guys throw some sheeting on this side of the, the cut and stack roof and start doing that California fill. Um, and they're also gonna be working on replacing the two by six, the two by six lookouts uh, that we have right here. They'll be replacing those with the four by sixes per plans. Um, they already did the front, I'll put another video of that. So here's the front of the house. They have that whole rake wall done. All the lookouts up, four by six, like it's supposed to be, shear panel on. We changed this side over here already. These are all four by sixes all the way across. And now they're doing the front section here. <clears throat> hopefully they can finish that off today. And then uh, when we get that fascia board, hopefully Monday or Tuesday next week, we can get wrapping this roof up. So we got, we got to go back and replace these couple little gable ends over here that have the two by sixes and then uh, one across the back and then we'll be all up to her plans. Well, today we are back in Bakersfield. We got Stadium Bud. They went home with Lori uh, last week, but now I'm back and got them back. So we're gonna go and uh, we're looking for a water buffalo today. So we're gonna go see if we can find one for a good price. We're gonna take a quick run out to the ranch, see how things are looking out there. Well, everything's looking pretty good out here. Uh, I'm gonna get the CHP out and get these trucks cleared. And we're gonna get those things recycled. Oh boy, that's not good. Wow. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Unbelievable. I didn't really notice that before, that crack in the glass. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever noticed that. Look at what the birds did to this thing. Wow. That is terrible. Terrible. I need to use this. I got to load that tank over there in the back of my truck. That's, gonna, that's not going to be fun. So I'm gonna take this tank right here up to Mammoth. And uh, so I'm gonna have a water buffalo and this tank. And I got an offer on this place. I had a lot of fun plans that I wanted to do out here, but Kind of need a place like this closer to Mammoth. This is kind of a little far away and we're eventually we're gonna be working our way up there permanently. And it's a really good offer on this thing with uh, I'm gonna give them all the equipment and everything with it. But uh, I don't know, I got some thinking to do. Because this is kind of more of a recreational place. And, uh, you know, the offer is, is good enough that it would be a business decision. And I'm sure I can find something that I was meant to have up that way. You know, everything kind of, in, in my world, I look at everything happens for a reason. So it's definitely something to think about. And, uh. I'm gonna miss this place if we end up selling it, but I'm sure we'll be able to find something better and that's actually better suited for us. 
looks like everything's good there um it was pretty cool though when i came out here and that these solar panels are working just like they're supposed to work so i got two of them here and about 16.8 volts right now 16.9 with a 4.5 amp charge just constant uh keeping that battery right at 14 so i mean this thing's a1 working just like it should it's perfect it's a nice little off-grid uh excursion it's getting ready to be real hot out here this weekend it's supposed to be uh up to 100 believe it or not today is just great it's like 70 degrees right now just beautiful but uh it's definitely gonna warm up by tomorrow that is just horrible hopefully this trash bag will uh keep me out of it i can't believe this i i this thing's been out here forever and they've never done done me this dirty Okay, well, we got the tank loaded. So now, uh, next thing is to get the, uh, I think we're gonna have a, the water buffalo delivered up to Mammoth <clears throat> from Whitecap. I work with those guys a lot and uh, our guy Matt over there, he's helped us over the years up there and I talked to him about getting us a good price on one and he's working on that right now so we might just actually end up getting a brand new one from white cap so we'll have this tank here and then we'll also have our water buffalo it'll give us almost a thousand gallon capacity for this off-grid uh pad that we're gonna do up there it's gonna be a uh, a foundation for a for a little shop and uh it's fully off-grid so there's no services out there we got to bring water everything uh it's about 30 miles out so you definitely want to make sure you have everything you need when you head out there and uh so we're not making extra trips it's a long way back
All right, guys, as always, thank you for watching our videos. We really appreciate the support of the channel. And uh, if you saw that beef that I got, um, go check out the mypatriotstore.com. I'll leave a description in the link. That beef is uh, no hormones, no antibiotics, basically organically grown beef and processed all on the same facility out there in Idaho. They've got the uh, fifth largest Angus herd in the United States and it's premium quality beef. Definitely want to check that out along with all the other products at mypatriotstore.com. Thanks.